All right, so we're going to talk about how to find a fraction of a whole number, um, which is really basically multiplying a fraction times a whole number. If you're in eighth grade math or you're in Algebra 1, you're going to be doing this a lot. And what I'm trying to um, get across to you is I don't want you picking up a calculator to do this or writing out some kind of long fraction multiplication problem. The point here is to get you to be able to do this in your head. So I'll tell you how to do that. It's pretty easy, actually. So what you've got here is 1 -fifth times 25. All you really do is you divide this number by the denominator of this fraction. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. Um, with the 1 8th, we got negative 48 divided by 8, which gives me a negative 6. And then I have negative 1 4th times 32, so 4 goes into 32 8 times. But this is a negative fraction, so that's going to become a negative 8 is my answer. And then I have 15 divided by 3, which is 5, but that's a negative uh, times a negative, so that's a positive 5. So now I'm going to jump down to these. Now, that's if you have 1 fifth, 1 eighth, 1 fourth, 1 sixth, but the numerator is not always 1. So what do we do with that? Well, we know that 1 fifth is equal to 5. So 3 fifths, we're going to do pretty much the same thing, but we're just going to do something a little bit different. You'll notice I took a pen here, and I made kind of a sideways V like this, because mentally what I do is I go, OK, 25 divided by 5 is 5, and then 5 times 3 is 15. Now the reason I do times 3 is if you think about it, 3 fifths is 3 of these guys. So instead of figuring them out separately and then multiplying by 3, you can just do it in one shot like that. So let's look at this one here. Negative 48 divided by 8 is negative 6. Negative 6 times 7 is negative 42. 4 goes into 32 8 times. 8 times 3 is 24. Now that's a negative there, so I gotta make sure I do a negative 24. And then I've got uh, three into 15 here, which is five, five times two is 10. Uh, that's a negative and a negative, so that'd be a positive 10, okay? Now, oftentimes you're gonna end up with uh, improper fractions. Well, guess what, nothing changes. Uh, if something's true here, it should be true here, and it is. 20 divided by two is 10, 10 times three is 30. 7 goes into negative 42, negative 6 times. Negative 6 times 9 is negative 54. And then I have a negative 6 into 12 goes negative 2. Negative 2 times 13 is negative 26. 9 goes into 18 twice. 2 times 11 is 22. That's a negative and a negative, so that's a positive 22. Okay, so that's the skill. Now, where do you use this? Well, as I said, in eighth grade in Algebra 1, a lot of your uh, line formulas are going to look like this right here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this, uh, this is what evaluate means. Evaluating for the, each value of x, it means I'm going to take this negative 18 and I'm going to plug it in. Now, do you have to write it out? No. As I said in the outset, my goal here is to get you to be able to do this kind of thing in your head. And that's what I'm going to do. So this part here, I'm going to do just like I did up above over there. I have negative 18 divided by 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 4 is a negative 2. Okay, so I evaluated this with that being the x. This one over here, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the 5. I'll pop 5 in right there. Again, this is kind of like what's going on in my head. So 5 goes into 5 once. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. This one over here, I'm going to pop the 20 in there like that. Let's see, it's taking the place of the x. So I have 5 goes into 20 four times. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. And then this last one over here, put in negative 12 minus 3. 4 goes into negative 12, negative 3 times. Negative 3 times negative 5 is 15. And 15 minus 3 is 12. So that's all there is to it. That's how you find the fraction of a whole number.